Henry, how awesome is it that you are nominated for an Oscar? Uh, it's kind of weird, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to say about it. It's <laughs> the only thing I can like grab onto that's like awesome about it, because everything else is, like ego and craziness. Uh, I'm really excited to take my wife to the Oscars. That's a pretty cool thing to say. Well, it's like really easy and simple. That part's cool. Yeah. The rest of it's like too scary. You know. <laughs> you really seem like the down-to-earth type. So I have to ask: sure. when you're putting a short film like this together. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to assume that none of this is even in your mind at the time. No, not really. Um, I mean, I made a film about, uh, I was in the Army, I did two tours in Afghanistan on the second try to female interpreter, and so it's inspired by her. Um, and so, no, I didn't think that it would ever, like, get to that level or anything. I just wanted to tell that story, and I thought maybe some people would see it. But now it's something that's a lot bigger than that, yeah. Yeah, it's blowing up, and a lot of people are seeing it. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. For my viewers that don't know, can you give us a little bit of a rundown on the plot? Sure, yeah. Um, it's the Afghan-American interpreter's first day on the job. She's the only woman working with about like 40 infantrymen. Um, and she basically runs into a problem with another woman once they raid a house. So why was it so important for you to tell this story? Uh, well, I mean, it's very personal. I, like, I had a friend who inspired that character. Um, I felt that she was probably one of the strongest people I ever met uh, to have like that sort of to deal with both cultures and to deal with like her being the only woman and with all these like men in two conservative cultures the US Army and uh, Afghanistan um, so I just felt that if I was gonna make a war movie I should maybe do it through a woman's eyes as opposed to like doing the same old story again yeah. so it's very different you don't hear that a lot or see that a lot no which is important I think cuz uh, you know you always want to like try and find a new way to like go through a story so and you've taken a Canadian actress which is kind of nice that's right Leila Lozada uh, she's a fantastic actor um, yeah I can't speak highly enough about her she she and I worked now twice yeah twice together and uh, I look forward to working with her again for a very long time she's just an incredible talent when it comes to choosing the actress or the actor mm -hmm. to portray what you see what you've written yeah how do you what's the process how do you go about doing that um, you know it's there's all these techniques of like casting and looking in the room, but really it comes down to, I think, um, I mean, I knew that Layla was, was good because I'd seen her work. And so then it just was a matter of like, do we uh, think the same way? Do we get along? Do we like have the same sort of ideas, I guess, or worldview? Um, not that really that's, basically do we jive? Do we work together? And so for me it was, um, I really was uh, impressed by her presence and like how she carried herself and she was intelligent. And I thought, all right, let's go with her. And it seemed to work out. Day yeah. one, nominated for an Oscar. It was just a gut thing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. Uh, I have one more question sure. that I try to ask each of my guests. Okay. It's actually about your socks. Sure. Uh, I believe socks tell a lot about a person. All right. And I'd like to know if you'll show me yours. Sure, yeah. yeah. Awesome. There you go. Oh, and they're fancy, too. Fancy ones. <laughs> Are they always fancy? No. No? Just what you picked out today? Luckily, today they're matching. So. Hey, mine never match. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. No, no, you're very welcome. All the best. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you, you too.